Welcome to another episode of Shipper War. Shipper War. When ship happens, I'm there. First news is coming out of the girl with a dragon tattoo. So it's been stated that a sequel is going to happen officially. It's been announced. And this is good and surprising news because it's surprising because the movie's not doing that great at the box office. It's just not doing as well as people thought it was going to do. But even though it's not doing great at the box office, it's still picking up, it's still making money, and fans and critics alike are loving the film, which is excellent. So a sequel is going to happen, and we're going to get The Girl Who Plays With Fire, which is just great. Um, the bad news is that supposedly there's rumors going around, I don't know how true they are, that David Fitcher is not going to be returning for the sequel. I hope that's not true, because if it is, why? In other news... For those who are big Katniss and PETA shippers, well, an official poster for The Hunger Games, another official poster has been released, and it's of Katniss and PETA. A bunch of new still images, not a bunch, just a couple, have been released for the movie as well. Also, speaking of photos, more photos have came out for The Amazing Spider-Man, and again, it's been confirmed that a sequel for the movie is going to happen, regardless of the fact that the first film has yet to come out. And carrying on with the theme of photos, photos, on-set photos of Jason Bateman and Olivia Wilde has been released online from their movie The Longest Week. It's just photos of their characters hanging out, kissing, doing all kinds of things with each other. Not like that, just hanging out type things. So it's been officially announced by Nicholas Spark that The Notebook, one of my all-time favorite romances, movies, is going to be coming to Broadway, which is excellent, excellent news. Now, continuing with the theme of Broadway, so it's been officially announced that, <sighs> brace yourself, Twilight is, be is going to become a musical. <laughs> Carrying on with the theme of Twilight, so it's been officially announced that Breaking Dawn Part 1 is going to be released on DVD and Blu-ray February 11th. Mark your calendar. Just mark it. Even though if you're not going to get it, just mark it anyway. Nextmovie.com has made their own list of the 20 sexiest couples of 2011 in films. I do not completely agree with this list, but each to their own. If you're curious, go check it out. And the trailers to come out these past three or four weeks are The Dark Knight Rises, which was amazing. I actually did a review of it. You can check it out here. And then the second trailer to come out is Upside Down, which I have to say, I reported on this movie sometime around this time last year. So it's kind of surprising to see that a trailer has finally been released for the movie. It's just, it feels like this movie has been in production for a very long time. Maybe because there's a lot of visual effects, which it does look like it there is in the trailer. So with that said, my thoughts on this trailer is this movie can go either two ways. It can either be really amazing, awesome film, or it can be complete garbage, a big disappointment. Those are the only two ways this movie can go. I don't know if it can be an in-between. It's a possibility. So if you haven't checked out any of these trailers, I suggest you go and check them out. And the shipperness movies to come out these past three to four weeks are, number one, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, which I've seen and reviewed. You can check it out here. And the second one is Norwegian Wood, which came out of a limited release. Another one of those movies which I recall talking about like a year ago, and it finally has been released here in the States. It's actually, I think, it's a Japanese movie, so it's a foreign film. So that is all for this episode of Ship of War. Goodbye, and until next time.